Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Happy Monday. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, it's back to work today. Well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Mm, it's a new coffee I'm trying. It's from H-E-B, that H-E-B, I think, Cafe Ole or whatever, but it's Guatemalan. And that's pretty good stuff. Oh, good stuff. Uh, H-E-B here is a local grocery store here uh, in Texas. I'm not sure if you have them there, wherever you're watching. But uh, that's just the grocery store. But, hey, I'm going to have a little more of that. Oh yeah, I'll be I'll be making some more of that this morning. All right. Well, this morning we're going to start off in Psalm 119, and then we are going to Jeremiah chapter 32, and then we have a reading in Revelation. So, let's get started. Psalm 119, uh, verses 49 through 56. I'm not going to read all of Psalm 119. That'd take a while, uh, but if it came up, I would. Uh, so, Psalm 119. 49 through 56, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. Remember your word to your servant, in which you have made me hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. The insolent utterly deride me, but I do not turn away from your law. When I think of your rules from of old, I take comfort, O Lord. Hot indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my sojourning. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and keep your law. This blessing has fallen to me, that I have kept your precepts. All right. Get a little bit of this. All right, we're going to Jeremiah chapter 32, verses 16 through 35. So here we go. After I had given the deed of purchase to Baruch, the son of Neriah, yeah, no, we'll just go with Neriah, I prayed to the Lord, saying, Ah, Lord God, it is you who have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and your outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. You show steadfast love to thousands, but you repay the guilt of fathers to their children after them. O oh, great and mighty God, whose name is the Lord of hosts, great in counsel and mighty in deed, whose eyes are open to all the ways of the children of man, rewarding each one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his deeds. You have shown signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, <clears throat> and to this day in Israel and among all mankind, and have made a name for yourself at the, as, as at this day. You brought your people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and wonders, with a strong hand and outstretched arm, and with great terror. And you gave them this land, which you swore to their fathers to give them, a land flowing with milk and honey. And they entered and took possession of it. But they did not obey your voice or walk in your law. They did nothing of all you, of all you commanded them to do. Therefore you have made all this disaster come upon them. Behold, the siege mounds have come up to the city to take it, and because of sword and famine and pestilence the city is given into the hands of the Chaldeans who are fighting against it. What you spoke has come to pass, and behold, you see it. Yet you, O Lord God, have said to me, Buy the field for the money and get witnesses, though the city is given into the hands of the Chaldeans. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am giving this city into the hands of the Chaldeans and into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall capture it. The Chaldeans who are fighting against this city shall come and set this city on fire and burn it with the houses whose on whose roof offerings have been made to Baal, and drink offerings have been poured out to other gods to provoke me to anger. For the children of Israel and the children of Judah have done nothing but evil in my sight from their youth. The children of Israel have done nothing to provoke me to anger, 
by the work of their hands, declares the Lord. This city has aroused my anger and wrath from the day it was built to this day, so that I will remove it from my sight. Because of all the evil of the children of Israel and the children of Judah that they did to provoke me to anger, their kings and their officials, their priests and their prophets, the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, they have turned to me their back and not their face. And though I have taught them persistently, they have not listened to receive instruction. They set up their abominations in the house that is called by my name to defile it. They built the high places of Baal in the valley of the son of Hinnom to offer up their sons and daughters to Molech, though I did not command them, nor did, I, did it enter into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Mm. God's not happy. All right, the uh, New Testament uh, lesson this morning, we're going to Revelation chapter 3, verses 14 through 22. And here we go. And to the angel of the church in Laodicea write, The words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's creation. I know your works. You are neither hot nor cold. Would that you are either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white garments, so that you may clothe yourself, and, and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen and salve to anoint your eyes, so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and discipline, so be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. The one who conquers, I will grant him to sit with me on my throne, as I also conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And this is the word of the Lord. And, uh, you know, there's a good part of the American church is neither hot nor cold. They're just, you know, I know there was a time in my life when I, uh, you know, went to church and figured I got a little check by my name or something. That's not how it works. But, uh, uh, but anyway, all right. Let's go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, you led your ancient people through the wilderness and brought them to the promised land. Guide the people of your church that following our Savior, we may walk through the wilderness of this world toward the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'll go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.